Hey guys, so what you guys are looking at right now is Striker. He is my alb albino California king snake. The common name for these guys would be Lampropeltis Jutella Californiae, I think. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's it. I called him Striker because he is very aggressive. He's about eight months old now, and it's really common for king snakes to. Uh, be aggressive at this age and size. I just pretty much wanted to show off. Snake bites are nothing to be afraid of. Like a lot of people want to like own a snake or they're interested by a snake but they're afraid to be bitten because there is you know a human bias or like predetermined opinion about snakes when they've never experienced it for themselves. I can tell you that uh even like at his full grown size of four feet his bite would be the equivalent of like a scratch or from a thorn bush or, you know, a scrape. Dog bites and cat bites hurt way worse. Um, and this even goes for like smaller species of pythons, like ball pythons uh, and Angolan pythons. They're, they're not, they're not painful like at all. But, um, Pretty much his natural defense is that he's cornered. He know that he's cornered because he's in his cage. If he was out in the wild, his first instinct would be to run away. And I can tell you guys from experience that uh, a lot of times that once you pick them up, they will calm down. And he just musked me. That's what that is right there. A lot of the times they'll run away in the wild because they know that you are a threat and that you could easily kill them. And they'll only strike as a defense mechanism to get you to back off. Um, and then if they are picked up by a predator, like a bird, their next thing is to musk you, which is where they'll pee on you or shit on you pretty much. And that pretty much like if a bird or something just came and swooped by and picked them up, uh, it would deter the bird from eating them because of the smell. But you know, at this size, this doesn't really smell like anything, thankfully, but, uh, here, I'm going to try to get this focus so you can see them. Oh, and the cool thing about this is that these, uh, these guys are indigenous to the western part of the United States. Um, they rattle their tails and rustle it in the leaves to pretty much ward off predators. As if they were trying to pretend that they were a rattlesnake. They, like picked up like they'll rustle it in they'll rustle it in the leaves and stuff and pretty much picked it up um usually he calms down after a couple minutes of holding him but i'm probably stressing him out right now for moving him around so much but cal uh california king snakes usually are um aggressive at this age but albinos are more aggressive because they have bad eyesight or worse more worse you know it's actually worse than uh you know a regular king snake but uh if you have an aggressive snake you know don't be afraid to handle them because if you don't handle them they're never going to learn that you're not a threat um, and eventually, you know, they'll get used to seeing you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Striker. He's not all too bad.
Well, anywho, let me guys know what you think about Striker. And, uh, if you guys, if you guys want a snake, what type, what kind of snake would you guys get? And, you know, let me know in the comments, are you afraid of snakes and why? And, uh, what are some of your experiences with them? Alright, Striker. Say goodbye to everybody. Subscribe.